One thing about me, I'm all about self-care. And nails. Lots of nails. Welcome to my channel. This is Kiki Pretty Life 23. what's up what's up you guys it's your girl kiki and welcome to my channel so this video here i'm going to be showing y'all how i made this beautiful lavender feather tube top here now i was looking for a lavender feather tube top all over the internet and i couldn't find one that i really really liked and then the one that i really did like was like a hundred some dollars and i'm like i'm not paying that so you know what i did i went on youtube university and i saw this video right here from this girl so shout out to to her for giving us this wonderful tutorial for how to make this feather two top and I was able to create one on my own for a fraction of a cost and it looked so good so I'm gonna show y'all how I made it it was some trial and error making this feather two top but at the end of the day it still came out good so I am happy and satisfied and since my birthday is coming up soon I gotta go ahead and get my outfit together so yeah this feather two top was definitely on my list and I'm so happy it came out so good so let's go ahead and get started all right y'all so first we're going to start off with this tube top here from sheen so this is a size medium and it stretches so you can actually wear it as a size large if you wanted to but i end up getting a medium now with this tube top it came folded up on um, what you see in the picture there it was a little bit more folded up at the top but um i felt like it was a little too short for me so luckily i was able to unfold it by just cutting the seams off that was keeping it down and once i cut the seams off um it actually ended up being a lot more longer in length so it was able to cover more of my chest area so it was really really nice now for the price of this tube top um i ended up ordering a lot of other stuff along with the sheen order so the shipping fee was actually free but that cost it only three dollars and 91 cents or no i paid 421 for it they changed the price to 391 so now it's under four dollars so then i got some feather trim here now my mistake was that i end up getting the wrong feather trim i end up getting turkey feather trim because i thought it would be a little bit more fluffier technically i was supposed to get the ostrich uh, feather trim which is a little bit more on the fluffier more flowy side because the turkey feather trim was a little too stiff for me so i did have to modify the tube top a lot in order to make it look good which i'll see throughout in the video and for the feather trim it came with two yards per order so i end up ordering four yards total so um each two yards of this was seven dollars and eighty cents i believe um let me check a little bit yeah it was 780 each for two meters of light purple turkey feather fringe feather trim like um i mean pretty much what it says on the list and on etsy but i end up getting two of them so the total with the shipping fee costed twenty dollars and fifteen cents so uh combine combining that with the price of the tube top from sheen that is not bad at all for how much i have to pay for this whole tube top compared to paying a hundred some dollars for it now i am not a professional at all i do not sew for a living or anything so you will see me make a lot of mistakes on here but the thing about me is that i could finesse a lot of things so even if i'm not a professional at it and i'm not doing things in the right order i could tell you one thing i am a very creative person and i could make something still look good even if i had to do it in a totally different way than what a person who's been doing this their whole lives know how to do so the first mistake i made was i put the feather trim too high on the tube top um i end up having to cut it down a lot more towards the end of the video which you'll see but i have put it up too too high and so because of that it was covering more of my um my collarbones and stuff like that which i did not want it to cover because i was going to wear a butterfly necklace with the outfit and you would not be able to see it if the feathers was in the way so that was definitely the first mistake i made 
now the second mistake i made was i put the feather trims too close together because these feathers are a lot more different than the ostrich feathers i wasn't able to layer them as close like i should um just because of the fact that the feathers are a lot more longer and bigger so you did not have to put them as close um as the ostrich feathers which i saw on the tutorial that um this woman did uh, she used a totally different feather trim so the feather trim that i got is turkey feather the trim so they are going to be a lot more thicker and bigger in size so um and a lot more stiffer too um stiffer because of the um the, the little stems that goes up the feathers it was too stiff so um that was my second mistake was putting them too too close together i should have put them more further apart which i end up doing later on in the video and then my third mistake was not measuring first um so after i put all these feathers together and end up sewing them down which was pretty much a waste of time because i ended up having to take them off anyways um i did not wrap them around um long enough around my torso because um this tube top does stretch a lot so by the time i had tried it on to kind of see how the feathers was gonna look not only that that they wasn't laying right but also did not cover enough of my torso so, so uh, the feathers only just covered just the front part of the um, tube top but then when I turned to the side it was still a lot of space left from the feathers not covering it and it just did not look right so um towards the beginning of the video when y'all saw me wear that tube top you can see the feathers were just wrapped completely around only leaving just a little bit of space in the back for you know some elasticity but um when i first made this tube top and i only did like half of it i could already see that it was not wrapped around good enough around under my arms so it just looked very small very weird and it, it did not fit me as well as i wanted it to fit me so that was another thing i should have measured first um the tube top and then see how far that the feathers got to stretch around my torso and then from there i'll know how much of the feather trim that i need to um you know sew on to the tube top so that was my third mistake but hey you live and you learn and now that i know all my errors and all the things that i had screwed up on i was able to go back and just take off all the feathers which luckily i only did about half of the two top so i did not have to take off much at all and it did not take any time for me to take off the thread so i was able to start all over completely and was able to get a good idea of how i was going to lay these feather trims here so once I tried on the tube top and I saw that the feathers um, could be definitely way more further apart than how they was. So instead of stacking them on top of each other like I did earlier, um, I ended up um, putting on the tube top and I took some of the feathers and I kind of just like put it as far down as possible to see how far they could go. And they was able to have a lot more space between them than how I had them before. So what I decided to do was I decided to leave that first row uh, sewed down, but then I took some glue instead because i did not want to go back and sew it down first i wanted to use some glue to kind of get a good idea of how the feathers are going to look before i sewed them back down so i took some of this really strong rhinestone glue now this stuff was super thick and i think the reason why it was so thick was because i had it for a long time so it got a little bit thick or maybe that's just how the texture is supposed to be i'm not really sure but all I knew was is that it was super hard to squeeze out but this glue is pretty strong so I was able to get the feather trim to stay right on the fabric good enough where when I put on the tube top I was able to see exactly how everything was going to lay down so all I did was is that I just took droplets of the glue and I took quite a bit and I put it right on the feather trim and then once I did that I just went ahead and just glued it right onto the tube top and again I left plenty of space between each feather trim just because again they are super big super thick a lot more on the stiffer side so I did not have to stack them on top of each other like the ostrich feathers and I was able to still get a good coverage I also made sure that I pressed that glue right into the fabric so that way those um, feathers would stick on really, really good. So I just gave it a really, really good press and it didn't take long for the glue to dry at all. It took about a good, I say a couple of minutes, like really by the time I got done with the whole thing, the glue was completely dry. So I was able to try the tube top right on just to see how the feathers were going to look.
so for the last little pieces um i had drew like a really really faint line which you really can't see that clearly but that's where the side of the torso is at and i'm going to put the feather trims right in that area so right where that line stops at that's where i'm going to stop the feather trim at and i'm just cutting the little pieces here and there and what i'm doing is i'm going to glue those pieces kind of overlapping the previous piece uh, that's right by the feather trim there um, just that you don't really see that line of demarcation between where the um, piece is at and where the whole piece is at in the front of the uh, feathers if that makes any sense so you do want it to kind of blend in a little bit better so what i did was is that i took a little bit more glue and i just cut a little small piece right up to that faint line and then afterwards i just glued the piece right at that line where it stops at and then i just overlapped it with the previous piece so that way it'll blend in really nicely Alright, so once I was finished with the tube top, I let it dry for about 10 minutes just to make sure that the glue was all the way dry and this is how it ended up turning out. Now, it looks a little different because I ended up spraying just a little bit of water on it just to kind of um, tone down the feathers a bit so y'all could see how it looks um, without it being too, too crazy. But I ended up doing some modifications on it once I put on the tube top. But yeah, this is how it came out. And then when you look at the back part of it, you can see that it's not completely completely covered but it's got enough elasticity which again I could stretch this tube top out quite a bit all right so after putting on the tube top this is how I end up coming out now I end up using some um, gotta be glue spray just because I wanted to tone down the feathers just a little bit more because they were a little too wild and too crazy so I just went ahead and sprayed some of that onto my tube top and then I just patted the feather down just that they will be a little bit more compact and then I also took some scissors as well like of course they're lavender because you know like that that's my favorite color so you know you gotta do lavender scissors but I just went ahead and trimmed down the feather there's a little bit as well just on the sides mainly so that way it could give that more compact more slender look because again the feathers were just a little too long and I also clipped the top part of the tube top as well just because um, again like I put the feathers a little too high up on the tube top so it was covering mainly my whole chest and my whole neck and everything like that so I did tone that down a bit but after doing that um, this tube top came out so good like in fact I'm not even gonna lie to y'all it looks way better than that tube top that was $100 online so honestly I'm so happy and the supplies itself was only like 30 something bucks so I mean the fact that I saved like 70 something bucks on a feather tube top is a really good steal so I'm just happy that I am creative in the mind and when it comes to saving money you know your girl gonna figure it out all right we're gonna figure it out <laughs> but yeah I can't wait to wear this tube top um, for the photo shoot I'm really excited I got way more stuff to still do for my outfit but it's only like just my hair and then just got to do the makeup and stuff which is not to the day of so I'm not really too worried about that but it is going to be in a couple of weeks which is going by quick so I got to get it together but anyways I'm sorry this ain't much of a tutorial tutorial you know I'm not really good at you know when it comes to clothes and stuff I could do the nails but when it comes to the clothes I'm still pretty new to 
it but anyways i hope y'all enjoy this video and i'll see y'all on my next one for my birthday series and yeah have a good one y'all I just want to appreciate everyone for watching my video if you haven't already hit that subscribe button down below it's going to be below my video and also hit that notification bell for more updates on my content along with that you can follow me on my other social media pages as well for more updates on my other content that i post outside of here but anyways i hope y'all have a good one stay safe out there and stay blessed goodbye